Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? We had a request from Discord to stock this. So speaking of LSM60S series chips, uh, this is the LSM60S V, which is used for VR and um, like OIS, like a optical image uh, sensor stabilization. Uh, it has a built-in sensor fusion. Uh, and it has the same footprint as our LSM60S 032 or whatever, or DSOX. Uh, so I was like, oh, great. Just swap the chip and I'm going to make a prototype and try it out, see how this chip goes. Um, I also made a board that I need a lot. It's something that takes NeoPixel signal in and drives a powerful LED or analog LED strip. So like the NeoPixels, they're bright, but sometimes you have like a gigantic strip that takes RGB analog common anode, or you have like a three watt LED. This is a little board that has a WS2811, takes that signal, inverts it, flips it, turns it upside down, drives it through some powerful end channel FETs, output to a terminal block. Yeah, and like you're just like, oh, this is just like just watching Ask an Engineer, and it's like, wait, what's this? This is a, this is a really cool <laughs> top secret. New yeah, this is a, this is from two years ago. I started this, and I couldn't get the the power regulator chips, and I was like designing, and redesigning, and redesigning. I couldn't take it anymore. I shelved it and said, I'm going to get back to this when I can get components again. Um, so this is a floppy <laughs> disk shaped floppy controller, controller. so yep. you can you can say flop and it's got a little floppy bunny some artwork that you and bruce designed yeah. that i found on the base camp i just slapped it on there yeah so uh, this is a floppy disk controller an open source one and it's going to help a lot of people do a lot of fun archive work yes because here's the thing like i go and visit my parents and they've got all these boxes of floppy disks and i wanted to like a standalone floppy disk reader that would yeah. be able to dump the floppy disks so um, we wanted to make it easy there's like really intense communities around um, archiving stuff that kind of chases people out. And we're like, well, let's make something that can bring everyone yeah. together in some way. Cause there's like not open source, open source. So it's going to be all open source. Everybody will be able to make and share hacks and mods with it. There won't be anything like weird that you have to like buy NDA stuff just to copy a floppy. So anyways, I want to copy some floppy. Yeah. Anyway, the... so there's a lot of, a lot of stuff. Which I tried about a little bit on the uh, Disc Lady. This is just the first prototype, but now you see it. Uh, you know, we started with the floppy feather wing, and then this was going to be coming out right afterwards, yeah. and I didn't make it. So, but, you nice. know, there is an expiration on floppies. They eventually will get harder and harder to copy them. So, yeah. we also want to make a tool for people to get all the smarts and all the weird things that were developed over the years um, off those devices. We check out the Prince floppy. Um, it's one of the things that we wanted to do. We imaged the Prince Floppy with the font, the font on it. Um, just type Prince Floppy Adafruit. You'll see some of the things we did. Um, let's stop cigarette. All right. What's going on?